to do is go through the various stages that will be needed to make fuel on the Martian surface. Now firstly, I've taken a tray full of ice and covered it in sand, basically to represent the Martian geology. And if you look at a picture of Mars, you should be able to see that there's ice caps at the top. And this is solid ice, water, and also solid carbon dioxide. Now what we can do is we can drill down and our astronauts will to get this solid ice and turn it into liquid. Now to do this, I'm basically gonna take a screwdriver, heat it up, go down, and melt this ice, by burrowing through our Martian surface that we've got here and basically I'm going to turn that frozen water into liquid water and steam which we can then collect. Now once I've collected this liquid water you'll see that I'm going to place it into a bowl. Liquid water is H2O. Now we can use electricity for a process called electrolysis to pull the hydrogen and the oxygen apart. And I'm going to do this by simply dropping a nine volt battery into our bowl of water. Now what you can see happening here is on the negative terminal, which is the fatter terminal, you should be able to see bubbles forming. And that's hydrogen gas being formed out of the water. Now we can collect this hydrogen gas and the oxygen gas being formed to create fuel or use it as fuel. And this is what we're going to do in the third stage. So I've collected this hydrogen gas that's been made and I've filled a balloon up with it, which you can see here. And you can see it floating around in this box. Now, I'm going to take it away and put it on the stool here. So hopefully this balloon is full of hydrogen gas. We're going to react it with the oxygen in the atmosphere that we're breathing in. Now on Mars, there's not going to be any oxygen in the atmosphere, so we're gonna to have to use the oxygen that we've created from the electrolysis for this reaction. But here on Earth, we can simply use the oxygen in the atmosphere. So I'm gonna light my splint and get back. Now you should be able to see that as I light the splint and getting closer, there should be a nice <laughs> explosion. And that's the hydrogen gas reacting with the oxygen. And it's recombining to make water again but it's giving out lots of energy. Now, we may not want to use this as fuel. Instead, what we might do is create methane. So we'll take that hydrogen and react it with the carbon dioxide that's already in the atmosphere to create methane, which is CH4. And that's one part carbon, four parts hydrogen. The reason we want to do that is basically methane will give us a bigger thrust. And so we react the methane with the oxygen we've created from the water and hopefully use it in our engines to blast off from the surface of Mars with our astronauts inside the rocket.